let k be the product of all the factors b minus a, not necessarily distinct, where a and b are integers satisfying, 1 is less than or equal to a, is less than b, is less than or equal to 20. So we are picking two numbers, a and b, between 1 and 20 inclusive, such that b is larger than a. Find the greatest positive integer n, such that 2 to the nth power divides k. Another way of saying this is that we want to find the number of 2s in the prime factorization of k. So how do we approach this? Well, let's start by listing out every single factor. So we are going to start with 20 minus 1, then we have 20 minus 2, 20 minus 3, all the way to 20 minus 19. So here I'm having b of 20 and a of 1. So b of 20 and a of 1, and we can have b of 20, a of 2, all the way to b of 20, a of 19, because a has to be less than b. And then we are going to have 19 minus 1, 19 minus 2, 19 minus 3, all the way, all the way, so 19 minus 3, all the way to 19 minus 18. And then we are going to have 18 minus 1, 18 minus 2, 18 minus 3, all the way to 18 minus 17. I think you get the point. And we go down all the way to 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is as small as we can get. And when we multiply out every single one of these factors, when we multiply out all 190 of these, we are going to get k and we want to find the number of 2s in the prime factorization of this entire thing. So how do we find it? Well, first of all, we don't care about 20 minus 1, 20 minus 3, 20 minus 19, 19 minus 2. We don't care about these factors because they are odd. This is 19, 17, 17, and odd factors are not going to contribute any number of 2s to the prime factorization of k, so we can safely ignore those. So which ones do we really care about? We care about 20 minus 2, 18, 20 minus 4, which is 16, then 14, all the way to 20 minus 18, which is 2. We also care about 19 minus 1, which is 18, 19 minus 3, which is 16, all the way to 19 minus 17, which is 2. And then for 18, we start with 18 minus 2, which is 16, then 18 minus 4, all the way to 18 minus 16. And then for 17, we start with 17 minus 1, 17 minus 3, all the way to 17 minus 15. And I think you get the point. And the 2 minus 1 we don't care about, but we care about 3 minus 1. So we care about 3 minus 1. And we also care about, we also care about 4 minus 2. So at the end, we are going to have a 2 and another 2. So really, we only care about the number of 2s in the prime factorization of this thing. And it's pretty easy to see that every line is repeated twice. So one way of finding the answer, and this may be an easier approach, we really only care about one of them. So we can just pay attention to this thing, then 16 times 14, then 14 times all the way to 2, then all the way down to 2, and then we can find the number of 2s in the prime factorization of this thing, and then simply multiply the number by 2 to find the number of 2s in the prime factorization with all the duplicates. And of course, we cannot forget to multiply our answer by 2 at the end. One way of approaching this is by taking 2 out from every single factor. So I'm going to take 2 out from 18, 16, 14, all the way to 2, take 2 out from every single one, take 2 out from each and every single one, and see how many 2s we get at the end. From the first line, we are going to take away 9 2s. From the second line, we are taking away 8, then 7 all the way to 1, and that's 9 times 10 over 2, also known as 45. So we have taken away 45 2s, but are we done? No, because for the multiples of 4, so for example 4, even when we take away 2, we are going to have another 2 left that we can take away. So for the multiples of 4, we are going to take away another 2. So how many multiples of 4 do we have? Well, on the first line, we are going all the way to 16. So we have 4 multiples of 4, all the way to 4 times 4. On the second line, it's the same case. 
4 plus 4, then we're going to have a 3 plus 3 because of 12. And then we're going to have 2 plus 2, and we're going to have 1 plus 1 from 4 times 2, that's this one. And we also have 6 times 4 times 2, so we are going to have another 1. So in the end, that's what we are going to get. So how many multiples of 4 do we have? We have 8 plus 6 plus 4 plus 2, also known as 18, 20. So we are going to have 20 from this. And of course, if we have a multiple of 8, so for example 8, even when we take away two twos, we are going to have another 2 left. So for multiples of 8, we have to take away another 2. And from the first line, we are going to have 2 multiples of 8 because of 16. From the second line, the same case. And how many lines after that are going to contain 8? Well, starting with 14 all the way to 2, then 12, then 10, and all the way to 8. So we are going to have 4 lines that's going to contain 8. So we add another 4. So we have 8 multiples of 8. And finally, we end up with multiples of 16. And that's easy to count. We only have 2 of them. So we have another 2. So we add up every single one, 8 plus 2 plus 20 plus 45, which is 10, 30, 75. So we have 75 twos in the prime factorization of this thing. So how many twos do we have in the prime factorization of k? Well, that's going to be twice that. So our final answer is 75 times 2 or 150. So let's go all the way back up. Our answer to this is 150.